Latin America, a land steeped in rich traditions, vibrant cultures, and untold mysteries. From the rainforests of the Amazon to the ancient ruins of the Mayans and Incas, this region holds stories of magic, mysticism, and the supernatural. One such phenomenon has long captured the imagination of people around the world, witchcraft. But what exactly is witchcraft in Latin America? Is it the work of dark, malevolent forces? Or is it simply misunderstood ancient knowledge passed down through generations? Today, we'll delve deep into the fascinating world of Latin American witchcraft to uncover its roots, practices, and how it intertwines with the cultures of this diverse region. The practice of witchcraft in Latin America varies significantly from one country to another, shaped by indigenous beliefs, African traditions brought by enslaved peoples, and European influences, especially from the Spanish and Portuguese colonizers. One of the best-known forms of witchcraft is brujere, which means witchcraft in Spanish. However, it's far from a uniform practice. While some forms are considered dark or harmful, others are associated with healing and protection. In Mexico, Bruger A is often associated with curanderos or healers. These practitioners use herbs, rituals, and spiritual guidance to help those in need. But on the darker side, there's Bruger, a negra, black witchcraft, used for curses, revenge, and manipulation. One of the most infamous figures in Mexican witchcraft lore is La Santa Muerte, the saint of death, who is worshipped and revered by many who seek her protection or blessings. Further south, in the Andean regions, witchcraft takes on an entirely different form. The indigenous people of Peru, Bolivia, and Ecuador have long practiced rituals that blend native spiritual beliefs with Catholicism. Shamans, or curanderos, here use the power of the earth, the mountains, and the spirits to heal both physical and spiritual ailments. Many of these shamans are revered as wise spiritual guides, offering protection against evil forces through their connection to nature. In Brazil, we see the fusion of African traditions with Catholicism in the form of Candomble and Umbanda. These Afro-Brazilian religions are deeply connected to witchcraft practices, where spiritual leaders, known as MS de Santo or Paez de Santo, communicate with the spirits, or Oryx S, to perform rituals of healing, protection, or divination. In these traditions, the line between religion and witchcraft is often blurred, as the supernatural plays a central role in everyday life. One of the most mysterious and often misunderstood forms of Latin American witchcraft comes from the Caribbean, Santa A. Santa A originated in Cuba, but its influence spreads throughout the region, blending African Yoruba traditions with Catholic saints. Practitioners, known as Santeros, invoke powerful spirits to offer protection, guidance, and blessings. But like other forms of witchcraft, there is also a darker side where curses and harmful rituals can be cast upon enemies. In many parts of Latin America, witchcraft is still feared. Stories of witches turning into animals, casting curses, or controlling minds are deeply embedded in local folklore. In places like Chile, witches are said to fly through the skies on foggy nights, while in Colombia, legends tell of the Tunda, a shape-shifting witch who lures people into the wilderness. These tales are often passed down through generations, shaping the belief systems of rural and indigenous communities. But witchcraft in Latin America is not always about fear or darkness. For many, it is a connection to the ancient wisdom of their ancestors, a way to heal and protect themselves and their communities. It is a powerful blend of the old and new, where indigenous spirituality, African rituals, and Catholicism coexist in a vibrant and complex cultural tapestry. As modern-day Latin America continues to evolve, the practice of witchcraft remains resilient. In many rural areas, witches, shamans, and healers are still called upon to treat illnesses, resolve conflicts, or offer spiritual guidance. And in urban centers, young people are increasingly turning to witchcraft as a form of empowerment, reclaiming their heritage in a world that often dismisses the mystical and unknown. So, what is witchcraft in Latin America? Is it a dark art or simply an expression of ancient traditions? The answer depends on who you ask. But one thing is clear, the magic of this land will continue to captivate the imagination for generations to come.